<laughs> All right, folks, let's continue our conversation uh, about this issue of the NFL players, NBA players, Major League Baseball player protesting. Last week at the Congressional Black Caucus, I moderated a panel on athletes and activism. Uh, on that panel were uh, folks like Dr. Harry Edwards, of course, he was the one who was the, was the architect of the famous protest, some call it infamous, it took place in 1968 in Mexico City when Tommy Smith and John Carlos held their fists up and took their shoes off wearing uh, black socks and of course black gloves. Also on that panel was NBA veteran Eton Thomas and who broke down why NBA players have been far more socially active even on the court than NFL players. The NBA is a little bit different than the NFL. Um, I, I really believe that if, if Colin Kaepernick would have been an NBA player, I don't think this would be a big deal. I don't think he would be, you know, blacked out of being able to, to no, no, play. No, no, on TV one, we call it white ball. White ball. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, you know, I, I don't think there would be the repercussions. I mean, we've, we've had, you know, just look at what has happened in the NBA, you know, for the fact that after Eric Garner was murdered, um, you had all the players, all the teams wearing I Can't Breathe jerseys immediately after. Um, during the Worlds. I don't think that would have happened in the NFL. You know what I mean? I think the reaction would have been a lot stronger. I mean, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just a different league in, in, in its entirety. So I can speak from the NBA standpoint. Um, you know, I love the activism that I'm seeing in guys. I mean, right here in, in, with, with the Wizards. I mean, you, you saw when they had the back-to-back -back murders, Alton Sterling and, you know, and, and Bradley Bill came out, you know, firing out and saying what, what was, you know, what he didn't like that was happening. And he got the criticism, a little pushback from the fans. But from the ownership and from the, the league as a whole, there wasn't quite the, the pushback that you get in the NFL. So it's completely different. And so I understand what NFL players have to, have to deal with and why the Colin Kaepernick situation was so, you know, the, one of the first things that people said was, you know, why aren't more players jumping out there and supporting Kaepernick? I mean, I said it myself. You know, but then I had to really remember, well, it's two different leagues. So, you know, the repercussions are a, a lot stronger for the NFL. That's not excusing it or saying that they shouldn't jump out because after a while, more people did start jumping out. But th this is what it is. This is what it boils down to. There's strength in numbers. So if everybody does it, they can't fire everybody. You know what I mean? So what you saw in the WNBA where every, because at first they tried to find the, the WNBA players for wearing the shirts and they were wearing the black oh, yeah. shirts. Right. But everybody did it. They can't fire everybody. So they had no choice but to say, okay, well now we're going to rescind the fines. You guys could do what you were going to do. And they were going to do that anyway. So that's, I mean, I would really say, you know, whenever I speak to young players, y'all just got to do it together. It can't just be one person over here because they can get rid of one person. They can get rid of two people, but they can't get rid of everybody. All right, folks, uh, you have those comments there. Oh, so I, I got to go ahead and uh, uh, show y'all this here uh, because, of course, uh, you know, uh, uh, so you have uh, the clueless one who's back on Twitter. Give me a second, uh, Shelly, uh, so I can pull this up. So Donald Trump, uh, you should have known, known he doesn't know when to shut up. Uh, and so uh, he just uh, posted this here. Let me pull this up. Um, Donald Trump just tweeted at 725. So proud of NASCAR and its supporters and fans. They won't put up with disrespecting our country or, or our flag. They said it loud and clear. Yet the same fan base Come on. that Come on. loves the Confederate flag, right. that loves to fly. There is no other sport in America that embraces the Confederate flag. This says all you need to know because this is who Trump was talking to. But, this is his base. It's, it's, it's the fabric. Yeah. It's, in the, it's, it's weaved into the fabric of NASCAR. Yeah. So what we what we see is is that that flag, which represents truly division, is being embraced. Yet the flag of of uh, of the you know of the nation in terms of uh, people protesting. Injustice that's not embraced, that's frowned upon. And of course, he tweets that this has nothing to do with race and yeah. it's about the respect for our country and our flag because, of course, he's trying to change the argument into a patriotism argument and away from police brutality. Yeah. Right. Of course. Yeah. Right. And, and that's the mm -hmm. deflection mm -hmm. right. folks always try right. to make right. as opposed to know what's the issue. Exactly. There, there, there's no higher level of patriot than protest. In the words of Ron Paul, there's no higher, there, there's truth is treason and a tyranny of lies. And this Donald is Trump, Donald Trump changed changing this into an argument about patriotism is completely deflecting from the actual issue that we're talking about. And it's, and, 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 
<laughs> and about patriotism from a six-time draft dodger. A, a six -time right. It doesn't draft get any somebody, more ironic than that. Somebody, <laughs> that, had, somebody right. that has literally desecrated an actual right. patriot John Unbelievable. McCain. Unbelievable. Right. I mean, I don't, I'm being honest with you, I don't understand conservatives, I don't understand uh, uh, Republicans that, that defend Donald Trump, that can literally defend somebody right. on this issue that has gone after somebody that's literally a war hero. Right. Right. That's the literal you, definition you, of a war hero. And, and <laughs> in that rally on Friday in Alabama, yeah, right. he, John McCain is dying. Right. right. The man is dying of cancer, right. and Donald Trump trashed him in Alabama. You write no respect for a POW Zero. and all these Republicans and conservatives. Right. I don't want to hear nothing from them <laughs> about patriotism because, like I said about Bill O'Reilly, black folks have shown white Americans what patriotism yes. is when you fight for a country and when you come back. You gotta sit behind the very Nazis who you capture. But, but why yeah. does patriotism mean that you have to follow the leadership of your country when your country is going to hell? Why does patriotism has to be this all in non-critical thinking type of approach. That's not patriotism. Patriotism is requires us to be informed citizens, not for us to just go all in. Whatever the president says, right. what, bump whatever well, the see, founding he principles that he's are. He's the center of everything. Precisely. And whatever he says is right. So that's where that's linked. No type of right. weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. No. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.